Ah, good morning everyone. So today I thought we could go over Princess Hu Hu Ran, who we defeated yesterday. So I've kind of got a bit of first-hand experience about how you do this. So let's uh, start off by looking at this webpage here. Um, Princess Hu Hu Ran is a large silophoid wasp and the fourth boss in the Ten Temple of Anchorage. She requires a large amount of nature resist on all players. So let's have a little look at her attack sound abilities. So frenzy. So in order to avoid the frenzy, you really need hunters to use their tranquilizing shot. But uh, this um, significantly increases her damage. You've got her poison bolt, which does 2000 damage directly to the closest 15 people. Only occurs when she um, frenzies or when she berserks. Okay. So this is interesting because basically at 30% damage, um, this princess goes kind of crazy and um, attacks the 15 nearest people, causing a huge amount of nature damage, right? So the strategy is you need to get 15 people in close proximity to her with at least 200 nature resist gear in order to beat her. So she's also got her wyvern sting, which is an area of effect, sleep effect. So honestly, don't worry about this. She just puts people near her to sleep. But it's really important that you don't dispel this, right? Because it will cause 3,000 nature damage, which isn't good. So just let them sleep, you know. Um, she's also got an acid spit, which deals 219 damage to 281 damage um, every two seconds, um, stackable. So... This is the reason why your warriors, your tanks, your druid bears are going to need to swap with each other to basically ensure that um, too much um, damage over time doesn't build up. And finally, the berserk. So with 30% health, um, her attack doubles and she releases 2000 damage poison bolts every three seconds to the closest 15 people. So this is really why you need your 200 plus um, nature resistance gear, guys. Awesome. So I thought I could look at the strategy in a little bit more detail before the actual video starts. So like I said, we did her last night and she was um, pretty tricky, if I'm honest. Um, up until the 30% mark, she isn't too bad. Uh, warriors should get in position and they should basically swap um, when the dot becomes too um, damaging, I suppose, for damage over time effect. So I think we used um, two warriors to do the swapping here, though um, the guide recommends three. Uh, we may have actually used three, to be honest. I don't recall. I was mostly doing the um, DPS and soaking up the damage that she was putting out so she will stack nature um, damage over time on the main tank so tanks must be rotated the damage over time is not resistible so the main tank should not um, focus too much on armor defense hp um, you should just go for basically hp and nature resist gear um, hp pull is the most important attribute Obviously, you've got to keep up your nature resist too. Uh, let the tanks get comfortable with the rotation. Two to three tanks need to be rotated due to stacking damage over time. Okay, let's look at the other classes. Hu Hu Ran <coughs> is immune to taunt. For this reason, tank rotation can be tricky. Tanks can use invulnerability potions or blessing of protection to um, drop aggro. So... Okay, you need to get your lips, guys. Um, positioning is very important. 15 people need to stand basically within the circle. When you click on her, you'll see the circle on the floor. You need to be as close as possible, really. Um, and yeah, at 30%, she's going to go crazy. At 30%, you need to take a nature resistance potion, guys. Because, like, the healing is insane, right? This... She's she's not too bad up until the last 30%. So don't panic too much. Just make sure you've got everything ready and you're ready to pop that nature resistance potion and, you know, kind of go crazy on her. 
um, warriors just, you know, get ready to really, you know, take her down at the last 15%. Uh, so yeah, she's got an area of effect, wife and sting, sleep effect. Do not dispel this, we already covered this, but if you dispel it, you get um, a whole bunch of damage to you, and this can't be resisted. So, Noxious Poison deals 3,000 damage and silences the person that is hit directly, but it also applies to players um, around the one hit. Um, the damage to the effect is not dispellable. Um, hunters must be on the ball with Tranquilizing when she frenzies, okay? Um, this doesn't count as the final frenzy, but yeah, if, she, um, if you see the text, Hoo Hoo Ran goes into a killing frenzy, but uh, hunters, please <laughs> um, tranquilize her. Um, so Hoo Hoo Ran will no longer frenzy after 30%. Hunters should then focus on DPS and maintaining the nature resistance aura, especially on the main tanks group. So, Princess who, who ran most significant ability is a 30% mode. We've covered that pretty well, guys. Um, I suppose you're going to see... A Warlocks can put on Curse of Doom at 45% as long as no one knocks the COD off. Okay, um, this will cause who, who ran to take massive amounts of damage right after she hits 30%. Oh dear, all damage per second should be using trinkets and cooldown as soon as she hits 30%. So, yeah, you really want to use all your trinkets, guys. Um, just get her down as fast as possible because the damage she deals is just totally insane. But, yeah, we, we did it. So after five minutes, she will spam Poison Volley, similar to Enraging at 30%. Like Battle Guard um, Sartora, um, her Timid Enrage is much more deadly than a lower HP rage and is guaranteed to wipe the raid. Okay, so you've got to take her down in um, five minutes. This shouldn't be too hard because we actually had her down in about three or four. Um, you're going to see the video in a sec, guys, so uh, don't worry about that. Um, so, yeah, um, let's take a quick look at the loot table, I guess. Uh, loot tokens. So, uh, she's got some pretty good stuff stuff here. Um, Cloak of the Golden Hive. Uh, hive Dwellers Wrist Guards. So, Strength or Intellect on them. Oh, it looks like we're going, guys. Let's have a little look. So, yeah, um, we had our sort of discussion about strategy and whatnot, and what we were going to do to take her down, and I... I I guess this is um, sort of implementing a strategy now. Um, as you can see, someone's taken out a little bug over there completely unnecessarily. Um, we're kind of looking for the correct position to pull her in. Okay, so we start running over to her. And, you know, this boss, if she takes you off guard, she can really do some damage right at the end, especially if um, you're not ready with that nature pot and everything else. Okay, so as you can see, um, all 15 players which need to soak up the nature resistance damage have got really close to her, um, which is obviously a good thing because if you don't, if um, a player is too far away, then you know she can end up doing a lot of damage to the raid, potentially wiping it. Um, this is her sleep effect that we talked about, so everyone's um, sort of asleep here. By the way, warlock pets do not take the um, soaking damage basically so um don't try to do that obviously um if you don't have a nature resistance then i think you're going to really struggle with this boss and you probably won't be able to do it so you know make sure you have at least 200 i think i had about 230 um with buffs that went up quite a bit too and you don't really need um to pop a nature pot at the beginning of the fight guys unless you really want to um, just when she literally gets down to 30%. So, as you can see, I, I'm actually using a shield here, and the shield has some um, nature resistance on it. So, I mean, that's the thing, you know, there's so much damage at the end of thought, it's probably best if I do have a shield. Um, but I, I do actually switch to my main weapon, so 
you can switch to your main weapon if you're kind of comfortable in this situation and sort of beat her up. But remember, switch to um, whatever you've got at 30%. Uh, the, the other thing I did at 30% was I went into defensive stance, right? As you can see now, guys. So I'm in defensive stance, which I personally did because I didn't want to let the team down. So um, I kind of figured that would reduce the amount of damage I took a little bit. And it, it's all going pretty well, guys. Um, so, right, as you can see now, she's right, totally going crazy. She's putting poison damage on everyone, but the healers are all sort of healing. There's some nice um, healing over distance here um, from the druid, I believe. And, yeah, everyone's just kind of going crazy trying to get her down. And, uh, yes, we got her down wasn't super difficult if I'm honest but you really everyone needs to be on the ball for this boss um so yeah we got some nice loot here I think we decided as a guild to keep a lot of the tokens until people have the appropriate reputation to use them and okay that's pretty much the end of the video guys so thank you very much for watching uh, I hope you found this useful if you do have any comments um you can ask them in the description but quite honestly it's probably worth just uh, looking him up yourself but that's my strategy guide for how to take down her princess whatever her name is <laughs>